Hello again. Uh, another book chat. This one about Boy in Darkness by Mervyn Peak. Um, as you can see, it's a slightly battered hardback. It is, in fact, an ex-library copy of a book. And it contains a novella which charts the adventures of Titus Gron between the second and the third of the Gormenghast or Titus trilogy of books. So at the end of Gormenghast, he leaves the castle, his ancestral home, and says he's not coming back. And his mother, Countess Gertrude, says, yes, you are, because everybody does. Gormenghast is the centre of the universe. And then at the beginning of Titus alone, he arrives in the big city and meets a host of new characters. But what happens in Boy in Darkness is essentially that he is pursued by sort of wild dogs and escapes across a river and then finds himself in a kind of hideous post-apocalyptic landscape where everything is dead and sterilised and dusty and encounters two characters who seem to have escaped from the island of Dr Moreau. This is a, basically a goat man and a hyena man who capture him and take him to their master who is the Lamb who is a weird, godlike figure that bleats a lot, essentially. Um, it's difficult to describe this book as anything other than a sort of slightly bizarre fantasy that takes uh, you straight into the realms of the genuinely supernatural, uh, albeit a very weird version of it. In the Titus books, Titus Scrone and Gormenghast and Titus Alone, there isn't magic as such. There aren't uh, sort of paranormal powers. But in Boy in Darkness, it's quite clear that there is something distinctly weird going on. And especially when you reach the end, where Titus actually has to confront this lamb creature and uh, defeat it. Obviously, he has to defeat it, because how could he be in the third book otherwise? Um, it's a very odd story. It's very, um, very much written in Mervyn Peake's trademark a uh, slightly flamboyant prose style, very intense, very artistic and poetical. This book is also illustrated, but not by Peak. Um, this is one of the illustrations, which is this is the hyena character. Um, it's not illustrated by Mervyn Peak. It's by P. J. Lynch. But the style of the illustrations are very, very, I would say, Peakian in their approach. If you can see that. Um, so that's just another book from my shelves. The boy. It was clearly Titus Grown, though it isn't said in so many words. Um, the boy, the strange creatures, the devastated sort of post-industrial landscape, the general weirdness, that's Boy in Darkness, another obscure text from my bookshelves. And uh, if you can seek it out and find it, you may enjoy it. If you're a Mervyn Peake fan, I'd say it was a must-have. Uh, well, I'll see you tomorrow with another book.